And with us now to continue our conversation is New Mexico Congresswoman Teresa Ledger Fernandez, who is a member of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus. Congresswoman, it's great seeing you. I thank you for your time. So the president has said he is willing to make significant compromises in order to get the foreign aid bill through. What do you make of this new reporting on what the White House is apparently willing to support? Well, what we would like to see is that the White House also engages the Congressional Hispanic Caucus, the Latino senators, the Latino House members in this conversation, because we want to make sure that we are not just... Uh, you know, negotiating coins to be given away, but that when we are negotiating something, that we include what our communities need. We have comprehensive immigration reform proposals that would help at the border. We need to look at how do we address our dreamers who have been waiting too, for, too long. Our Workforce Modernization Act, it's a bipartisan effort, and our communities need that. Our business and economy needs that. So we need to be included in those discussions so that we can make sure that what we get Get out of here is acceptable to the Latinos in the House and in the Senate. Your colleague, Congressional Hispanic Caucus Chair Nanet Barragan, told me yesterday, right here on our show, that if the Biden administration were to give in to Republican demands on border security, it would set a dangerous precedent. How do you view that? We need to recognize that uh, immigration reform needs to be done in a manner that's not a pressure cooker. We should not be sort of bargaining chips without being involved in the conversation and looking for solutions that make sense, that aren't just giveaways to the extreme MAGA uh, part of the party here. And so have you or anybody in your office been kept up to speed on what the White House is willing or not willing to do? Have you had a meeting with the president we recently have, on this we, issue? We have not. We have not had a meeting with the president. We will be having a press conference at 3 o'clock today to call for that involvement of, uh, you know, this very important portion of the, uh, the congressional leadership. I mean, we're in leadership. Uh, we represent uh, 42 members on the Democrat side. Uh, we need to be involved in these conversations. And, Congressman, turning now to the vote, we expect a, today on the President Biden impeachment inquiry. You sit on the Rules Committee, which approved a, a resolution yesterday authorizing the inquiry. Obviously, you're in the minority. But you, you voted against that and, and called it political theater. What do you mean by that? Republicans are engaged in political vengeance at the behest of the twice impeached, four felony convicted Trump who is mad because he got impeached. But remember what it was for. It was for an attack on the Capitol. And the Capitol Police, who are standing outside this building right now, they know what it means to be beaten and battered as Trump tried to overturn the election. And what this is about is vengeance for that, because after 11 months of investigation, they have zero evidence that President Biden engaged in anything that is near an impeachable offense. There is nothing there other than he's a good father and brother, he fought corruption, and he respected uh, the rule of law and the independence of the Department of Justice. That's what we have, uh, but every single Republican who votes for this impeachment inquiry is really a puppet of that twice impeached uh, Trump. Congresswoman Teresa Ledger Fernandez, always a pleasure to see you. I thank you for being with us this morning. Thank you and have a great day.